Yeah, the celebration continues. Uh, obviously, uh, after that big win out here, you know, UNC is on spring break right now. Of course, this was an away game in Durham, but you know, they still know how to rally the troops anyway. And there was a big crowd out here to rush the field, rush Franklin Street for the second time this season. For the Tobacco Road Showdown Part Two, this time in Durham. The Tar Heel team bus blocking traffic coming back home to Chapel Hill with a second win over Duke. From top of the hill to Franklin Street, a moment even the youngest fans won't forget. I think the best part was just getting to see all the people and celebrating the win that the Tar Heels had over Duke. Rushing Franklin Street was a family affair. We're both grads of UNC and it was great to rush now with them like we did in college. And some things never change. Even some of the most seasoned fans couldn't resist. We graduated in the 60s. We've been back in Chapel Hill for 20 years and in our 80s. So we figured if we didn't make it up to Franklin Street, who knows when the next time will be. But this time even more special. Both teams nationally ranked in the Tar Heels, clinching an ACC regular season title. And we started with so many unknowns, all the new transfers. It's just wonderful. Hopefully we can go further. Yeah, you know, and uh, from, from his lips to God's ears for uh, Tar, Heel, Tar Heel fans, perhaps, uh, obviously with that huge win, uh, clinching the ACC uh, title outright, making a strong case, a, a strong case uh, for a number one seed potentially in the NCAA tournament. So talking to fans out here, maybe they will uh, be celebrating for a third time, depending on how they do in the big dance. But uh, obviously a lot for fans here in Chapel Hill to celebrate tonight in that second win over Duke. We're live on Franklin Street. Tom George, ABC 11, Eyewitness News. Yeah, that win certainly meant a lot to go ahead and beat Duke on their home court by five points and to beat them even by more points there uh, just a couple blocks away on Franklin Street. So yeah, right. a lot of reasons to celebrate. Thanks, Tom.